channel. This is G Solutions. We find solutions for your needs. Today, let us try to establish a relationship between a delta and y connections. Okay, but first, let me draw delta connected system. For instance, this is our point A and this is the element. This is another point which is P and another one here. This is point C. Okay. Let's name this as ZAB since that we consider the points in which this branch is connected. That is point A and B. Also for this one, ZBC and also for this one ZCA we can actually connect this to Y connection okay so for instance this is point A and B and this is point C given ZAB, ZBC and ZZA and connected it to a Y connection it becomes a since that this is connected at this point a okay and this one is z b okay and the other one is z c you'll notice that the value becomes z a from a delta connection to y connection the value changes so what is the value of ZA based on this connection, on the delta connection? So we are actually do, doing a reconnection from delta to Y. We know already that to be able to get, for instance, ZA from uh, this one, from this delta connection you know that ZA is here it is connected here okay so the other uh, branches that is connected in this point at uh, delta connection is ZA AB and ZA <coughs> so this is slices actually this uh, point or this branch of the Y connection so we just multiply those branches so Z A B and Z C A and then we divide the addition of all of the impedances so you have Z A B plus Z B C plus Z C A <coughs> so this is it this is the value of Z A and for Z B the same so B is here and the connected branches there are Z A B and Z B C so we multiply those two branches Z A B Z B C and again the same denominator we just copy the addition of all of the elements connected in delta and also for zc same thing zc is here okay these are the this, uh, impedances uh, that is connected at c so that is z z a multiplied to z p c and then the division of z a b z b c plus Z C A so it's very clear now to get the relationship between Delta Delta we are getting the relation between Delta to Y and Y to Delta relationship if it has a the same impedances it means if our Z A B is equal to Z B C and which is also equal to Z C A. So what will be the relationship? Okay. 
So suppose let us name this Z A B Z B C Z C A equals to Z. So we just substitute this Z to an equation. Let's choose for instance this one. Okay, choosing that one. So you have here uh, Z A. So substitute Z A B is actually equal to Z and Z C A here is actually equal to Z. So we multiply Z and Z over Z plus Z plus Z. Okay. So Z A is actually z squared over 3z so we know that this will be cancelled out so what remains is z over 3 so actually this part is the uh, delta delta values for your impedance so, and this one is the y values of the impedance so we can say that the z a is z y which is equal to z delta divided by 3 so this will be the relationship of the y connected impedances and delta connected impedances you just divide z delta Okay, by 3 and you get the relationship between the two okay. so this will now be the answer so every time you are given a value whether it is y connected or delta connected it, it has the same impedances or the impedances are equal we just use this relationship okay so that's it thank you for watching this video subscribe and share this video to your friends you can also comment in the comment box